What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. It's been a couple weeks since the MSI Claw launched, and like a lot of people, I was really hoping for better performance, and so far we have had a BIOS update, a couple of the MSI Claw Control Center updates, and still not seeing the kind of performance I was hoping for out of this handheld. But nonetheless, there are still a lot of people out there that have kind of held out their hopes for the MSI Claw and didn't return their unit after receiving it. So in this video, I figured I'd go ahead and go over a couple accessories that I've been using with the MSI Claw. And keep in mind, this will work with any of the versions on the market right now, from the Core Ultra 5 to the Core Ultra 7. So no matter what version you have, these accessories will work with it. Now these aren't upgrades, these are just things that might make your life a little better with the MSI Claw. And we're going to start out here with the screen protector. This is from a company known as Magglass, and they do make two different versions. The Ultra HD Clear and the Matte version. So I'm not exactly sure which one I want to use permanently on the MSI Claw, but I'm going to go with the Ultra HD Glass version here. And both of them are glass. One's just a little matte. The other one is just totally clear. Inside, we get everything we normally get with any kind of screen protector, even if you're buying for a phone. And I actually ordered this about a week before my MSI Claw was delivered, knowing that I was going to get one. I definitely wanted to protect this screen. But since then, there are a ton listed over on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. We'll go ahead and dry this off. Then we'll just install the screen protector. And I'll tell you, this is the second time I tried to install it. This was definitely user error, but uh, it's something that's really going to bug me. Up in the top right hand corner, got a little spot that I just can't iron out. And usually with these screen protectors, I'm a little more careful. This time I kind of tried to rush it. But if you take a look right up here, looks like I peeled some type of adhesive backing here with my fingernail. So now it's not going to sit flush with the screen itself. And this is something that will bug the heck out of me. So I'm probably going to swap over to the matte screen protectors. But there's a ton of them listed over on Amazon. I know this would have went on really nicely if I didn't have to peel it off again. So I'm going to chalk this up to being my fault. But it would have been nice if they included two screen protectors with this kit. They only had one in each pack. Next up, we've got a really nice carrying case from TomTalk, and if you've ever looked up accessories for, let's say, the Steam Deck or any other handheld, you've probably seen TomTalk listed with their cases. They make them for basically everything. I've actually got a couple for Aya Neo devices, and inside here, we've got some really soft material. It's not going to scratch up the back of the handheld. We've got this screen divider or screen protector inside. Very soft material here, so once the handheld's inside and you close everything up, that's going to kind of cover the screen, so it's not going to scratch the screen either. And with this, it's got those analog stick protrusions, so once this is folded over, those analog sticks sit up straight in here. And I like the look of this one. They make several different colors. I've seen them in all kinds of colors over on their website. We've got that handle there, and with this, I wouldn't mind throwing it in my backpack. And I don't think I'm going to break it by dropping it, you know, this much. I wouldn't go throwing it off the balcony, but for minor slips, you're not going to damage the handheld at all. Now, MSI does make a carrying case. I personally haven't seen it up for sale. Uh, it might be over on Best Buy or uh, even Newegg right now. But if you're looking for something that you can pick up on Amazon, this TomTalk case does work out great for the claw. Next up, an external battery pack. Now this is something I actually bought for the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. I can recommend two different versions and I'll leave links for both down below. This is the one that I've been using a lot lately and I really just like the look of it. Plus there's usually around a 30% coupon over on Amazon. So it's like $54 with 30% off. It's also got a light on the bottom. It'll do up to 100 watt PD charging out. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery in here. So basically, you can charge your device up about one time, but with the MSI Claw, the way it's set up out of the box, it'll only do 45 watt fast charging unless you change the BIOS to 65 watt. We've also got this LCD readout. It'll give us the percentage of the battery, plus it gives us the amperage and the voltage out. So if we multiply these numbers, we can tell exactly how fast our device is charging on the other end. So the MSI Claw is charging at about 57 watts right now, and I have enabled fast charging from the BIOS on my MSI Claw. I'll tell you, these do come in really handy, and you can use it with any of your handhelds. Personally, bought this for the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck, but it kind of transfers right over to the MSI Claw. And the final thing I wanted to take a look at for the MSI Claw is a dock. So this is a relatively cheap iVanky dock with a longer USB Type-C cable. It's a non-removable USB Type-C. This will do up to 100 watt PD charging out. 
We've got USB Type-C, three USB 3.0 ports, full-size HDMI, and Ethernet. And personally, I just used the included 65-watt charger that came with the MSI Claw to plug into the dock. And now we can actually set this up and go desktop mode with the whole system. Another thing I can recommend is definitely a keyboard and mouse and an extra controller. I just use a wireless Logitech keyboard and mouse. You can pick them up really cheap over at Walmart or Amazon. And for my controller, I use a wireless Xbox controller. So now we've got this connected to the larger display. We're also charging the battery. We don't have to worry about battery life. So we can max this thing out up to 40 watts from the MSI control center. And I'm gonna get into a little bit of gameplay here. And by the way, this dock will do up to 4K, so if you did want to do some 4K video playback on the MSI Claw with this external monitor, it will work. Right now, we're still at 1080p with this game. Uh, given the power that this thing's putting out, or the performance at least that this thing's putting out, 1080 is really where it's at. Still kind of pushing it for a lot of games until we get some more updates for the Claw. And that's something I've been checking for every single day since the claw launched. I'm really hoping for a nice boost in performance from a driver, maybe a BIOS update. Not exactly sure when or if that's going to happen, but as soon as we get some kind of information on what's going on here, I will be making a full review video on the MSI claw. But if you're one of those people like me who have kept your MSI claw, just hoping for that awesome update, these are some accessories that might help you out along the way. I'll leave links for everything that we took a look at in the description. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.